What up, hoes? Jake Annarino here with my coach, Robin Giesler. He's a fifth strike black belt under Helson Gracie in Gracie style jujitsu. He'll choke you and he won't even, and he'll just enjoy it. He'll just choke you unconscious and he won't even think about it. It's fun. Actually. It is fun to choke people unconscious, isn't it? Yeah, I get paid for it. <laughs> it's awesome. So let me tell you, uh, let me ask you this. Um, there's a level of jujitsu when a guy gets his blue belt, and you said they get this certain thing where they always get in a fight. They get in a street altercation. Why yeah. is this? And tell me about your uh, blue belt. Uh, uh, yeah, put me you. on the spot. It's not always the case. Don't, don't, I don't want everybody thinking that there's a bunch of our blue belts going out looking for fights. But um, It's like they want to test their blue belt or something they, they, almost. They did. But, but, you know, I also came up in a different era, too. Where but back then, you, 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 you say could have been what... called on to, to fight at any time in the gym. Like, you know, you like Helson would say, hey, this oh, yeah, guy comes in off the guy. street, yeah. Robin, yeah. take care of him. Yeah. Wow, did that ever happen to you? No, not in the gym. No, I didn't. But it, but it, it, it happened to a lot of my friends that were, wow, you know, especially dude. at the Gracie, because the Gracie Academy was, was the one where that where that happened. I mean, a lot, quite often. You know, you see the Gracies in action videos. Yeah. Most of you, most of them you see are the Gracies fighting. There were a lot of those fights that you didn't see. Um, the Lost Gracie. Uh, oh, the Lost Gracie. Players. Yes. We need to do. Where we do. Where there were a lot of them actually that, that a lot of my friends fought, like blue belts. Some of them were like 15, 16 years old when they fought, and just killing people. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, they were, yeah, but uh, but yeah, it was. You're gonna make me tell the story, aren't you? Just uh, the quick version. All right, I'll do the I'll actually do the, as quick as version. Twice possible. you've had guys come at you because there was the bar story oh, yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll tell that one first because it is a... well, that one is basically a drunk guy saying "let's wrestle." Yeah, and you said, "Okay, dude." Yeah, yeah. This is when I was younger. This is my disclaimers. When I was younger and dumber and 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 uh, not as confident in myself. These would not be the same issues today. Um, but um, but yeah, uh, got into a fight. Jiu-Jitsu works. That's my quick That's version. pretty much the quick version. <laughs> but the guy comes up to you on the street. He was harassing a woman. He was, yeah. I, was, I came out of, a, of, of, a, of an establishment on High Street. Uh, it was a party, a going away party for a friend of mine. Walked out, car pulled up. There were a couple ladies across the street. This guy jumped out and he starts walking up to him and says, you know, I'm going to bitch slap you, whatever. To a woman? Yeah, to these three girls. And so I'm standing there with like, Three of my friends and these three guys. I mean, I'm I'm like 175 pounds soaking wet at the time. My my friends are like beefy, all like steroid heads. Yeah, man, yeah. these guys were jacked. I mean, the smallest guy was like 230 pounds, right? I think two up to 260. These guys were weightlifters, huge guys. I'm looking at my friends. I'm like, uh, no, you're not. Get back in your car, man. Get out of here. And, and you're uh, like, my friends got my back. Yeah, I, yeah, that's exactly right. So I, this, this was my thought. I'm thinking, ah, we'll just yell at this guy. He'll get back in the car. And so me feeling like, you know, coming from a place of not, not having self-confidence and then growing this confidence as a blue belt. I'm doing pretty good at jujitsu. This is my young, silly brain. You know, the guy runs back. Gets in his, he ends up getting back to his car. We had some words. I can't remember. It's been over 20 years. Um, gets back in the car, and he goes to take off, and he looks back. He goes... You're lucky. That's the cops back there. I'd kick your ass. And I looked back. It was like a couple of cars back, and it was it was one of those traffic and parking uh, cop cars. <laughs> so it wasn't for, a real cop. No. So I so I felt the need to explain that to him. Like you know. He said, like, "Hey, dumb. Hey, <laughs> moron. It's traffic and parking. It's not the cops." So so he gets in his car and he takes off. You know. So I'm, I'm walking down the street, feeling great about myself. I'm like, like I, see guys, all you have to do is stand up to the people, and they'll, just, <laughs> they'll back down. If you show you're confident, and as I'm telling, I'm, I'm feeling all great about myself. I hear, <laughs> <laughs> he just circled the block, and he jumps, he, he rolls down the window, and I was like, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fight this yeah, guy. Yeah, he's, he goes, uh, um, you something like, you want to go right now? I'm like. Uh, how big is this guy? He was he was maybe I don't know he might have been your height but he was thick he was thick oh big right? muscle guy and um, and I just said I'm not going anywhere and he jumps out and and runs out in front of this car there's a car parked on the road it's a one way road he jumps out runs around the front and I'm waiting on him and my friend my three friends are back here another guy first time I see this guy jumps out the back so you got starts, two guys coming two guys coming yeah and there's a girl that hops out too but. This guy jumps out the back and starts running around the back of this car, and I'm sitting there waiting on this guy. I'm like, okay, my three buddies got this guy. They froze. One, 
<laughs> they froze. The big muscle guys the froze. The big up? muscle guys froze. But the little jujitsu guy did not. They froze. They had no idea. That I, they, and, and it's astonished me. After the fact, I talked to them. They had never seen. They had never been. They have never been. They ever encountered a fight face to face before. Oh, and wow. It was a surprise me. I grew up seeing fights all the time. I'm like, what in the world? But this guy, I ended up fighting the guy. When you got around muscles, the back. nobody wants to fight you. This I guess. guy, yeah, this guy ran around the front and he stopped, and I'm waiting on him because I'm like, I'm gonna kick the knee and clinch just like we do in class. Pizzao and, or, or yeah, a kick? Yeah, the pizzao, yeah. And uh, and and I hear footsteps, and I I see that just just in time to go like this, and the guy, I see this fist flying at my face, and I wrap that guy up, but I take him down, and I hear, I now I'm fighting the other guy. What? And I hear, I hear the yeah. I never fought the guy I was talking to. Wow, well, that guy, that guy got his buddy in a fight. He did, yeah. And, that, and so they were standing there talking, and you know, and I could hear them talking like, "Hey, we can go, man." You know, and the one guy, the, the, he wanted to fight, and they were like, "Nah, just let him go, just let him go." So the guy who had the, you know, who was going to slap the girls, I didn't actually end up fighting. I fought the guy in the back seat. Uh, it's a good thing they didn't have a gun or. Now, anything. how big was the guy in the back seat? He was a little bigger. He was he was a little bit bigger than that guy. And and you said that. But he was very he was very fast, very athletic. If if I didn't know jujitsu, he would have killed me. I mean, not killed me, but he would have beat me up for sure. Oh oh sure. Would've I believe it. The, I believe it. Jujitsu is like a, a superpower or something. That, you know, it's oh, it's amazing. And in in, in, in in to a certain degree, I abused it that day. You know. How do you um, figure? Because they wanted to fight. Well, if that situation happened today, you would walk I away. I would have walked away. Yeah, I could, I could have taken the, the 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 hit to my pride and just said, you know what, I don't need to prove anything to my friends. I don't need to prove anything to this person. You're right. I'm a I'm a mother or whatever. You know. But but within the fight, I'm a bitch. I'll walk away. You know, no problem. You you so you're fighting this guy. It, it, does it go immediately to the ground? Pretty much. I I clinch. I take him down to the ground. He bites me in my arm. He bit you. Yeah, he bit me, and then uh, three times actually. And then I, I he bit I, you three times. Yeah, I sat up. I I, I threw a couple. Punches. Did you tell him only girls bite? Yeah. Well, his girlfriend jumped in. That's, she she pulled, jumped in. She pulled me back. She pulled me back off of him. He rolled over to, over on top of me, and then I snuck in the, the guillotine. Nice. So I, I got him in the guillotine, and I'm choking him, and he bites me in the ribs. <laughs> and you know, never been bit before. I kind of reacted like, ow. It's not fun to get bit. No, it's I've been bit real it bad before. Bad. Yeah. yeah. I let go, and I. I I had to pay that girl an extra 50 to bite me like that. <laughs> I'm sure you did. No, stop. <laughs> so I get, I get, I'm in this modified guard position and, you know, I'd already been bit twice. Pop him one. He stands up. Um, I think I had some words with him or something. I can't remember. How did he get out of the guillotine? He bit me. I let oh, go. and you had to let go because you're like, ah, oh, this guy's yeah, biting. It's, yeah, it's, it, it was kind of like a shock. Like, boom, touching a hot iron. You just react. Uh, he stood up. Uh, I went to an arm lock. I stretched his arm pretty good. He bit my leg, and then I let go and went to like kick him in the face. And he ended up uh, fall. I ended up catching the sweep on him, but he fell back like foot and hip sweep essentially. Okay. Right? He went for double ankle. He stepped to foot back. If you guys haven't heard of that, don't worry. It's terminology. Look it up. Double anyway, I'm sweep. on the bottom. I sweep him. He falls about ten feet away from me. Jumps up, and then they run and they jump in their car. Smart. Yeah, at least they would say, "Hey, so, this guy knows how to do something." I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I could not pick him out of a lineup, but I can tell you for certain, like the look on his face when I was running after, like you know, it took three bites for me to get to the point where I was angry. Then like, you're I'm like, really, now it's on. Yeah, I really wanted. To, so he better run. Then I then I was at a point where I I wanted to damage this guy. I was very very angry. You know. Wow. Like, I, at first I was kind of in shock, right? I mean, but after that, you know, but everything was working. It was just like in class, but I'm like, oh, I'm getting bit. That sucks. And then after that, I was like, I I I didn't want him to get away after that. I because you wanted to pound him. I was very very upset with this guy. <laughs> But he ran, and, and I, remember, I, I couldn't pick him out of a lineup to save my life, but I could tell you what his face looked like. Yeah. When he looked back, it was like, what was that? Like, you know, uh, I know his arms, you know, you know. Did you pop but, his arm? Oh, or, yeah. Y'all yeah. good. Yeah. You I, think he broke it? Well, I mean, I, I did damage to it. I know that. But, you know, I mean, it was a situation. I was on the bottom. I didn't, I didn't have a choice. I was committed at that point. Incredible. You know? um, but I'm lucky that jujitsu. Was there for me, but it was it was very very humbling to a certain degree because at that that was back in the time where you people thought you could get AIDS off of a toilet seat. I mean, I you can't. He bit me. No, I don't think so. I think that's yeah. I don't think AIDS is a big deal anymore. Well, <laughs> and you don't think AIDS is a big deal? <laughs> I'm kidding. That's because you don't have I'm it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. If you had it, <laughs> but, you know, I was nervous for for a good six months and like you know doing research trying to figure out like what am I gonna have to well blood bites tested? bites are bad bad very bad and that's he opened me up on my arm uh, in my ribs a little bit and my, on my on my leg I mean they're bite wounds they're human bite wounds and I was 
man, I was that's I crazy. Mean, I still got scars from it, but I was uh, I was really nervous that I was going to get you know something from that. Uh, it could have been. I didn't know if I. I'd if be I, nervous that you would give him something too, because he might. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was pretty clean, but that, that <laughs> I was, was pretty clean. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it was just. Uh, it was very nerve wracking, and it, and it really, it was humbling. It, it made me realize, like, look, look, this is, this is important stuff that you know, but don't abuse it, you know. And I felt like, even though I was, standing up for the girls, I could have gotten out of that situation. I think I could have talked my way out of it, and well, I should have. But now you're a black belt. Now, if it went down and he did force you to fight, it would have been a much different fight too. Yeah, yeah, he absolutely. wouldn't have been able to bite. And because... Ego wouldn't be the same issue anymore. Like, blue so... belts are still a little, you know, they're not they're not at, like a black belt would probably put that guy down no bites at all. Sure. But blue belts are yeah. still a little rough around the edges, and yep. you know, yeah. Yeah, and I think that's what happens with a lot of blue belts is they get to a point and they feel like, oh well, you know, I'm, I'm pretty off. because it really is. It's like if 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 you're going up if you're a blue belt and you're going up against somebody who doesn't know jujitsu, it's literally having an unfair advantage. Yeah, it really is a it, huge it, it's one. It's so effective. The jujitsu is so effective that it is it is it is literally like at that point, especially it was like I was part of a secret club that was. You know, like well, it ain't super... secret anymore. No, no, no. Jiu-jitsu's out now. No, and I'm, gl- I'm glad it is. I, it I is. Really am. It's jiu-jitsu's so. changing rapidly. Like, it's it's growing so fast. And we never used to have girls at our school. Now we've got girls coming awesome. in, which is great. Yeah. It's so empowering to women to be able to have the confidence to know that no man can, can uh, intimidate, assault, right. sexually assault, God forbid. Uh, and it's great that they feel comfortable in the room that they can come and train. You know, and it's, it is. it's awesome. It, we've we've got more ladies now training than ever before, and I think that's true across the across the world, really. It's fantastic. It's, it's awesome. Yeah, it is because really jujitsu and kids too. Amazing. I mean, you know, it, it's more and more kids are getting involved because their parents are finding out about it. Words so, out on jujitsu. It is because when I first when Hoist first hit the scene and jujitsu was just starting to get out there. It was, you know, I didn't know much about it, and nobody did. But no. now, like, the, the word, secret's out. If you get time, check out the uh, Gracie's in Action videos here on, on whatever platform you're looking uh, on. It's probably YouTube, but you might be go on Go to the Gracie Academy and buy it. Gracie <laughs> Academy. Yeah, go to the Gracie Academy and buy it. It's basically, for years, they would take anybody who comes in the, the school and wants to fight, uh... Elio or Hickson yeah. or whoever would be happy to uh, fight them. And, and these are documented on video. You could watch the, the fights. Kung Fu guys getting choked out. Uh, Taekwondo guys getting choked out. Jazzercise guys getting choked out. I don't know what that guy was thinking. Uh, we got to do a Jazzercise. <laughs> jazzercise yes. Gracie Challenge. got to do it. As you can see, his Jazzercise <laughs> is no match for Gracie <laughs> Jiu-Jitsu. It's fantastic. Oh. But coach, thanks for stopping by for a minute, Thank or let, you. letting me stop by, I should say, and ask you a couple questions. Uh, h- hello to all my new subscribers that may or may not be here. YouTube's really weird. I go to bed last night with 420 some subscribers, and I wake up with like 320. So I, I don't know what's going on there. I stole them. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, something happened, but no big deal. Uh, we're getting more and more all the time, and uh, we love it. Thanks for uh, coming by the channel, everybody. Look out.